Um, episode number nine here, War on the Sea. Here we go. Day number uh, 28, 28th, 26th of March, just 1942. We got $50 dues in the uh, in the bank, and we have to figure out what we need to do. It's great seeing so many of y'all. Uh, yeah. Quick rundown on the situation. Here we are. So we have... And thanks, Adam. Uh, hey, man, it's good to see you. So... Um, we have uh, subs, uh, USS Drum off uh, Rabal here, Haddock, uh, watching this gap, which is like, they, they seem to come down from truck, but one of you said that they come from Rabal. I'm not quite convinced on that yet, but you might be right. And so, um, but they always come down through this slot right here, and so we have Herring. Uh, where she needs to be. Uh, we have a rust bucket down here, damaged goods. <laughs> so, which I probably should have sent back with this uh, group way over here, which is way too freaking close to Santa Cruz. Um, this is the one that got beat up previously. McDonough, a C3, Papsco, Padapsco, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so, those are heading back. These guys are heading back. What I want to do is police these guys up and these guys up, get them back up all up to Midway, and start building a group for Tarawa here, which is going to be the goal for tonight. Uh, meanwhile, we do have another group down here. Task Force 29 with troops, supplies, gas, and engineering. Um, that's the critical piece is the engineering to get them down here, if I'm not mistaken, to beef up Milne, which has only 115 engineering, and we need to get at least 85 more engineering here in Milne to actually upgrade this and get more Australian murder hornets. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, right now, um, we have Task Force 1, York, Lex in the area. Um, what I'm thinking about doing with these guys is dog catching these guys all the way in, and then once these guys get all the way in, we will uh, turn them loose. Because uh, Hiryu and Shokaku are up here somewhere, unless they rotated Shoei back already. I mean, it's been like a month since we've seen her, so I'm not quite sure. We're just going to have to see. So, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, larger level strategic thinking. So, I don't know how much you guys keep up on the comments and whatnot, but I've been thinking that everything down here in New Guinea is kind of a red herring. As soon as we get milled up on its own two feet, and we got 2,800 troops here, so I think the biggest Japanese transport can carry 1,700. I might be wrong about that, let me know. But that would be the hospital ships. And so as long as we have some bow fighters down here that can actually fight them off, um, I'm thinking we're going to turn the carriers loose and go hunting for a little bit. And then, I don't know, this is my grand strategic plan in some respects, is to actually bombard the shit out of Wake, <laughs> basically neutralize it, take Tarawa with a whatever transports we have because um so we are maxed out on supplies engineering and fuel here and so i don't want to spend too much more money on convoys if we can just barf out a bunch of guys at once get a good half division of basalone boys go down here and invade this and then honestly i think my next um i think these guys are going to be my next big target so, just because I don't think the AI can actually deal with that. Um, now, one of y'all suggested come down here, take lay, work my way up the chain. But I'm thinking by the time we take this, we'll have a couple battleships. We'll be able to basically neutralize truck, which is a 5.5. Five. So, it'll take quite a few 14-inch shells, but we will oblige them <laughs> eventually. But uh, I think... I guess my thinking is it'll be easier to like work down the chain rather than up the chain. Um, I'm open to suggestions on that. 
so we're, we're not quite there yet so that's kind of long-term range thinking so but yeah now I'd like to get a three carrier fleet um, but we're only 16 points away from getting a three cruiser group set up I think what was it it was 22 a piece let's double check that uh, just get three heavy cruisers so these are 22 a piece I don't think they matter no they don't matter it's 22 66 two destroyers being um, Farraguts are fine I like Mayhans personally so 66 plus 14 is 80 so 30 more points gets us a, a bombard group I mean yeah I get it it's gonna be a light bomb group light bombard the burp, 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 burp. <laughs> a light bombard group so but several runs between Taro and wake will take care of it with just eight inch shells eventually we're gonna need 14 inches or 16 inches to take out truck and Rabal, so that might be a little bit further down the road. So, yeah, yeah, don't bombard Wake. Yeah, I get that. Um, not a bad suggestion. So, but we definitely have to reduce this guy down. So, because they're they can go out to 650 miles, so they they cover all of this right here. So Tarawa's just got to go. So, you know, just prudence says so. Anyway, all right, here we go. Let's let's go. Let's check out our search pattern. So, 0500 in the morning. Let's check our water. Water's nice and crappy up here. That's fine. We're probably going to catch some strikes here. This guy got way too close there for my liking, but whatever. See how it goes. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> it took five minutes. <laughs> Not even. So to get in here, let's go check this out. Man, we're going to get freaking rocked here with these guys. Uh, we got nothing. We got no air cover. What do we got coming in? What do we got coming in here? Uh, trouble. This is definitely trouble. These are uh, Helens, right? If I'm not mistaken. So they're gonna drop bombs on us. Let's go ahead and spin these guys around here a little bit. Go ahead and kick on your rudder. Everybody break formation. Yeah. Yeah, Duncan, I think you're right. Um, at least, well, it's at least closer to what we can do right now. There we go. There's a hit on the paps. Taps go. No fire though. All right, so she's empty. So I I hope that actually matters. We got more guys coming out here. What is it? Oh man. Oh. Oh, I hate these guys. Hate these guys. You got our guys got all the bombs on you too. So these are what 500 pounders. Um. Kind of tempted to nav towards him. They're probably going after the tanker too. Let's get this guy out of here. So McDonough, you stick close. This might be a bad idea. Let's just see. Did we get any hits on any of these guys? Nope. So, and that's one of the crappy things about this is that like they instantaneously, you know, get all their planes back, and I get. Like, I think it's a rate of one per night. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I do have to get truck eventually. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, it's just, it's so far down the road that let's uh, keep the McDonough close to her. Let's just split all these guys up here. You, head that way. Gonna scatter the convoy here. Submarines be damned. <laughs> Emily's are brutal aircraft, so they are absolutely OP. So the big old giant passenger flying boats, uh, probably one of the best uh, planes that the Japanese produced during the war. Um, some people will <laughs> argue with that, but this game seems to think that they're pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and speed up here a little bit. 
See if we can actually get through this. Uh, let me know if everything's working okay. So I, I kicked it down to 1080p. So because my shitty DSL is my shitty DSL. And so hopefully it's not too bad tonight. Looks like they're actually going after the destroyer. That's interesting. Why don't you go ahead and spin around? It might be going after the C3 too. Let's see. This Papsco is not armed, so that's problematic. Looks like we got some hits. Come on, boys. Navy gunners. Need a little bit more practice. <laughs> They're totally going after the C3. C3. Let's go ahead and spin her around too. Yeah, the Emilys are terrible. Fortunately, we only have three of them here. So if they had a full flight of nine, they would absolutely wreck us. Um. Yeah, they're going after the C3. Who's fortunately armed, but here come the bombs. Send our broadside to her. That might help a little bit. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. So. Buddy, head on back home, man. <laughs> I will take that. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that the. Uh, this guy would be okay. Get her short up. Those are both destroyed. Can't do nothing there, man. Yeah, nine Annalise is totally a complete loss. So, what was it? Uh, previous series that I did with the um, Americans, um, they wrecked a... What was it? Did I have the Breton or... Um, yeah, I think it was the Breton. Um, they absolutely got just murdered in the first... Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, this is... This is one lucky convoy. <laughs> this guy here in particular. <laughs> so, all right, let's get out of here. Let's call it good. So off we go. Uh, they're going to catch more strikes. These guys are going to catch strikes coming in. So I'm kind of tempted to get Lex over here. See if we can get some cap up over them. They're probably out of range right now. Let's see. Yeah, just at the, the very tip. Just the tip of the cap so but um let's use the weather here a little bit it's kind of gnarly weather a couple hours here and there it doesn't really make a difference for us long run so meanwhile let's uh let's reconfigure our subs here a little bit we do have p40s running out here Unfortunately, they got absolutely crap tech in range. We do have um, bow fighters here, though. So if we spot anything in here, bow fighter bait, baby. <clears throat> Meanwhile, a couple of you guys suggested I turn these dudes loose. So, Task Force 25. Yeah, I get you, man. <laughs> No one's gonna go down in history. I'm 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 tempted to turn these guys loose and just use these two guys to plug the holes for right now. Uh let me know where to send these guys. Alright? So uh Finback and Flying Fish. Um I don't want to spend any more points on submarines right now. Although it's tempting. But let's not do that. Let's go ahead and pick off the what is this? Dauntless, Dauntless down here. I'm gonna sit men or lopers and yeah, I get it. I'm I'm gonna duck out of all these contacts here. Just because air combat in this game is kind of busted. It's way too easy to spot. Uh search planes, but we'll have cap up. See that's why you want two carriers. You got one for like your duty carrier. Don't care about this. There's another guy just cruising around out here. Um, so anyway, what I was saying, you want two carriers. So light carrier, heavy carrier, two heavy carriers. One of them's your strike carrier, the other one's your duty carrier. 
Duty Carrier takes care of, like, Recon takes care of Cap. And so if anything shows up here, we'll immediately shit out, like, 24 Wildcats and just absolutely murder it. <laughs> so, but I don't know. See, here we go. This is what I'm afraid of. These are Tapita planes. Go check this one out. Gilbert and Solomons, huh? What, hang out around Tarawa? Yeah, maybe. Now let's go ahead and send one down there. I'm I'm I'm, I'm inclined to agree. Nope, nope, wait. One thing at a time, brother. No, oh, I gotta I gotta do the I gotta do the encounter. Task Force 25. Here we go. Alright, what do we got? So McDonough's, you should have your radar on. You got your radar on? What do we got? We got Mavis's. Japanese banana boats. Coming on in. We have enough time to turn towards them. We do not. Let's turn away. So usually with these guys, you want to line up with them. With their attacks. Tarwa and south between the slot. Catch a CV. Yeah, maybe. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, no, I want to take uh, Guam and Saipan. I'm, the more that I think about that, the more that I want to do that. Um, just because it kind of puts our it puts our queen in the middle of the board, and then we can punch whatever direction we want to go. I was talking to uh, Edified Gamer earlier tonight on his uh, comments about that. He's doing the Japanese campaign, which is probably a little bit more interesting than the American campaign. It's not exactly how I want to do this, but these guys will drop pretty far away. We might actually be able to outrun the Torps. Let's make sure that everybody's here up to full speed. Yep, 16 knots. 17 knots. McDonough, they're not coming after you, man. Actually, you should probably slow down a little bit. Get a few more pot shots at these guys. <sighs> the island below Guadalcanal. Uh, which one are you talking about? Not sure. So, previously, I don't think Renella is actually in this map. So, it might be. Who are these guys going after? They're going after Papsco. Let's go ahead and spin here a little bit. See if we can throw their tarps off uh, off base. Send you around, McDonough. Why don't you spin on in so all your guns can bear? I don't think these guys will hit each other. Slow down, brother. All right, torpedoes coming in. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Throw up your rudder. So, yeah, torpedo beats. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you on side pan. I do. So we're good here. These guys aren't going to be able to drop on us. Donna, go ahead and kick back over. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so I've noticed with the new mod... I don't know if this is actually a thing in TT or not. I didn't get that many torpedo drops, but... Um, Japanese aerial torpedoes run out of gas way sooner than submarine torpedoes. How many carriers did the IGN get? A lot. Way too many. Especially since they get the later uh, war ones. Uh, Amagi. Stuff like that. Alright. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we got more customers out here. Go ahead and give them a chance. All strikes are legit strikes. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, they get Amagi, uh, which is what, three carriers? Uh, so we already sent Kaga and uh, Rujo, if I'm not mistaken. So they still have uh, one, two, three, four, five of Kido Butai, and then two more. Three more after that. I don't know if they get a uh, Shinano. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and spin this guy around. Yeah, you're right about that. The aerial torpedoes are very, very fast. You only have so much time to react, but they, they drop pretty far away. And so I've noticed, like, just dodging convoys here a little bit that it's actually quite difficult for them to nail you. Well, except for my destroyer. <laughs> they blew the crap out of that guy. So we're going to go ahead and bracket these guys right here. So present the smallest target possible. Shore up. And see what happens. Shinano might be available later. I'm not sure. There we go. Those are misses. I don't know. I'll have to look at the uh, um, the museum to see if she's actually in there. Where are the other guys going? What are the What are you guys? You guys are Bettys. These guys are going to drop their pettis. So we want to keep spinning here. <sighs> Bettys. Quite possibly the ugliest bummer of the war. <laughs> so. Sorry, guys. It's just not my thing, man. <laughs> Let's see. We might be able to spin in. Oh, no. We might be screwed here. Oh, no. They don't have torpedoes. They have bomb. No, they have torpedoes. We are screwed. Oh, man. Oh, no. Nothing I can do, man. <laughs> that one's going to pass. This one's going to hit us right, right in the nose. <laughs> oh man, the AI guides have been nice to me today <laughs> so far. Yeah, no, no kidding. That is the luckiest convoy. This is the luckiest ship right here ever. So I, I do not know how she actually does. She not have that much of a draft. Want to just like yeah. Oh no, man! I I think that was just like them failing to get the hitbox on me there. <laughs> we should have lost this ship, man. So, well, at least they should have poked another hole in her. That's for sure. Yeah, I know, man. So just watching the torpedoes go right by. <laughs> Hang on to your biscuits, buddy. So, all right, off we go. No more planes. No more planes. We're good. Davis, that is crazy lucky. We got to get these guys out of here. Well, all right, here's what I want to do. Is I want to draw them off. These guys here. Oh, no, man. That, that was... She she was definitely running high. That is definitely true. So that's, that's, that's some Silent Hunter 3 stuff going on right there, man. <laughs> All right, so we set uh, Finn back down to Tarawa. And what about Flying Fish? You sit down here in the Solomons? So Rennell is not in the game. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's send her over here to Tarawa. Do some spooking around. Um... Yeah, let me know what to do with Finback. Because ideally, well... Actually, I don't really care if anything else shows up at Tarawa. We're just going to hit it. We're going to hit him with a whole bunch of Basilone boys. And so... So this game and the mod does have, like, simulated traffic. Um, between bases... I'm kind of tempted to turn them loose up here, back up here, where they were before. We did spot a carrier up there earlier, a long time ago. So, not quite sure. 
Yeah, patrol zones for the submarines. How do you do that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this button here. Two course positions for ships to patrol between. Oh, really? Is that how that works? Let's let's try that. One, two. Is that how that works? I like it. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> well, let's do the same thing between this slot here and truck with uh, flying fish. Let's do that. One, two, patrol. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You guys taught me something. I like it. <laughs> let's do that with this guy right here, shall we? Let's do about halfway. Up here. Oh man, that that is gorgeous. I love it. And here and here. Oh man. Oh well. <laughs> I'm some pack just got a new jabby job. <laughs> Let's see. They're gonna go down this way. We gotta be vigilant around here because. Um, it's been a couple days since we actually spotted anything down here. This guy's still patrolling. This guy's still patrolling. I think we have a third Kitty Hawk here. Uh, let's go watch around here if we can. Actually, no. Let's keep him in reserve. Yeah. Yeah. Java C. Over here. We're not going to worry about that right now, man. <laughs> We got bigger fish to fry. I appreciate that, but we definitely have bigger fish to fry. So let's see. Counter at mill. Kind of curious if these are carrier based planes. Let's go see. Well, they might be coming after my uh <laughs> this poor guy right here. So, the reason why I left this guy down here was to actually shuttle supplies up to Moresby, but the more that I think about Moresby, I just think it's absolutely screwed. It's just rubbled. I'd rather build up Milne at this point in time. We're going to give these guys 30 seconds here, and then call it good. Yeah, no, I get the... Uh, the point behind uh, invading more islands. Um, what do we got? These are Oscars. I get the point behind invading more islands. This guy's probably going to die. So they're going to strafe him. So, yeah. Alright, well, one turn, one, one bad turn deserves another. <laughs> Unless you guys suck at it. <laughs> so. <laughs> you gonna do it again? You gonna do it again? I don't want to lose any of my kitty hawks. My uh, these guys will shoot down my kitty hawks. So let's go ahead and cheese it out of here. Um, but I get the point behind getting new islands. That the problem with that. Hang on, just a sec. The problem with that and doing some math here is, so I only get thirty-seven points a week, and so taking a new island just a based island um, friendly location is only one point all right and so it'll take a couple weeks of transport supplies and troops in order to actually take a new island for a new point so that's only 52 points if I hold it for an entire year if I beef it up again that's a lot less points well I mean it's more points over the long run but it's not going to those islands and not beefing it up so I get it, um, but um, I think islands and actually taking bases a little bit more of a red herring and actually going after ships is much, much better. And as soon as I can get milled up to this point in time where the Japanese cannot take it, which would be about 5,000 troops, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just go out and sink stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
as opposed to taking all these little islands here and stuff. I don't know, I get it. I gotta take all this crap someday, but I'm only playing the game like once, usually twice a week. Not this week, but usually twice a week. So it'd be much, much more beneficial for me to actually go out there and murder things as opposed to towards taking all the little things. Now, this guy here is a problem just because, you know, land-based planes and whatnot. This guy's a problem too, all right? So, but once I get Milne set up on its own feet, I don't think I need to send as many of these little shuttle convoys down here. I don't know. That's just my thinking right now. I might be completely wrong on that. So, um, and if the Japanese show up down here with like a two-carrier task group or something like that, we're going to have to totally change my plans. So, but that's where we're at right now. So, look at that. Kind of curious what this is. So he's heading south. These are probably land-based planes. But every now and then, you just want to check and see if they got carrier-based planes. So the white zeros, which do come out of Rabal, so it's kind of hard to tell which is which. Um, but, man, pretty day. Look at this day. Absolutely gorgeous day on the South Pacific here. You guys having a good time? Just hanging out, <laughs> checking your phone. <laughs> so, all right, off we go. Not gonna worry about it too much. Um, how far is this guy? Man, we've only run three hours. I'm gonna run a little bit more than this. Let's go ahead and kick this guy out here. No, let's keep him here. Sorry. This is how I kind of command things, so... <clears throat> you're not sure what to do, smoke another cigarette. <laughs> do another walk around the flag pot and uh, flag plot and think about it. So... We'll see if these guys catch any more... Any more points today. B-40 Warhawk. Six merchant ships. Alright, so... This is important. Go check this out. See if we got any uh, boat fighter bait up in here. Yeah, we got boat fighter bait. Go check this out. Yep. Yep. War crimes. <laughs> Live stream war crimes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. All right. Let's get our bearings here. Sorry. Not trying to make you barf. They are serious, gentlemen. So this guy's in the lead. This is, uh, what, 3,200 tons? Or no, this is 5,600 tons. Boats. Japan. Archies. Not you. You are this guy. 3,100 tons. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. MMMF. No armaments. So 3,100 tons right there. This guy here is pretty beefy. Uh, who are you? The one with the boxes, 3,300 tons. Not too scary. This is the base game one. You, right here. Amagara Maru. 6,300. This guy's dangerous. This guy's definitely dangerous. 16th out. This guy's got to go. <laughs> this guy back here. One, two, three, four holds. This guy, right? Nope. 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 Might have been on him already. This guy, right here, 5,300 tons. So one, two, three, in terms of priorities. It's one of the newer Japanese destroyers here, if I'm not mistaken. They should not have these, just quite yet. Maybe this is a light cruiser. 
See if you guys get an idea before I do. <laughs> Yubari, there's only one of you. What do you got? You got dual purpose guns? No. Not dangerous then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is a it is a light cruiser. We got another one out here. This is that super dangerous one, Kitakami. Uh, if we actually had a surface fleet around here, which we don't, so we don't care about you. Modern destroyer. Modern destroyer. Same guy. No heavy cruisers though. Yeah, these guys are bow fighter bait. Let's go ahead and send the boys up. Let's get out of here. Um, what's our distance here? Hang on. Let's go ahead and drop a marker. What is it? P? Yeah. P. And southeast, twelve knots. Two hundred thirty-three, ten o'clock in the morning. We got lots of time. We got lots of time. Let's go ahead and bag that. Uh, let's go ahead and bag that. Um, uh, hospital ship. That'll rip the guts out of this convoy. So, do it. Oh, what are we at now? Forty-eight minutes. Come on. I'm pretty good for about two hours tonight, boys. So, uh, if you're good, I'll stick here with you. That's Force 25 getting hit again. <laughs> Let's see if the luck holds, shall we? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, no, you're right. The most threatening ship in that fleet is the base game cargo plane. We only got two of these guys out here. We're heading right for them, so let's just keep on. Let's just keep on uh, course here. See if McDonough can actually splash one of these two guys. These are Helens, if I'm not mistaken, right? Helens. McTavish, you told me about that. I don't know if you're on the live stream right now, but um, Japanese army planes are not. Like something I'm terribly familiar with. So. <sighs> Who are they going after? Can't really tell. Probably going after the C3. Let's go ahead and spin you around. Hard of port. Let's go ahead and present our broadside. Just in case they're going after you, give them a little bit of something to think about. <laughs> hey, this ship here, the C3, has got amazing anti-aircraft capabilities, but yeah, she's definitely getting shot at here. Let's see. Big money, no whammies. Oh no, they're not going after you. They're going after the tanker. Or not. <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> Do you guys are you guys not armed? Well, I couldn't tell right now anyway. It would have dropped. I guess they're just messing with us. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> What I use? Uh, what's the Allied designation for that? Um, you're right, though. I just don't know the Allied designation for that. I thought it was Helen. I might be wrong. So, but regardless, they decided to show up without ammunition. So, <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> so. Meanwhile, uh, we were busy down here. There come my bow fighters. Let's see if we can find these guys. Dauntless, this guy's... What is this guy getting attacked by? Getting attacked by torpedo planes? Really? What do we got here? If we have Kate's, then we know that there's a carrier down here somewhere. 
Unexplosive invisible bombs. I love it. What do we got over here? Now these are Mavises. These are land-based planes. We don't care. So, or float planes. We don't care. <laughs> Japanese invisible bombs. <laughs> so that's okay. The more of them they want to try on me, that's bad. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, actually, Haddock will be in good position to go attack those guys, too. Let's uh, keep her on our patrol pattern. So, Dauntless up here. Because they're either roofs or zeros. I'm going to leave them alone. And off we go. There they are. Here we go. Let's get some murder in today, boys. There they are. Right down there. Alright, let's do this professional like. Everybody drop on down, slow your slow your roll. Uh who was it? Adam, I think it was you that told me that it doesn't matter if you actually like target or I mean ID your target. So let's go in here and grab this guy. This is gonna be our target number three. Uh let's uh kick on over. Here from the side. And I, I love just flying these guys in here a little bit. They're going to maintain t course. Uh, this guy's the dangerous guy, if I'm not mistaken. No, not this guy. Where's the dangerous dude? He's right behind him. Yeah, we can't avoid that. So, we're going to have to buzz in here. Something is definitely going to go boom here. So, eight rockets. We got our rockets. We got our rockets. Racks are loaded. In we go. Yeah, I'm thinking Guam. I agree. I agree with you there, Daniel. So, I mean, talk me down off of it. But I think Guam is going to be our ticket. Actually, you know what? I think rocket attack, I want these guys to go max speed. If I'm not mistaken, where's my speed? And then strafing attack. We'll come back and we'll hit another one of these guys with uh, 20 mic mic. I mean, unfortunately, it means we got to fly right past that dude right there, but that's okay. Let's get this down to 2,500 yards. Pitch up and over. In we go. 2,500, attack. In we go, boys. I'll give you the full, the full view here. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, brutal. Brutal, that's bad. That's way bad. This little dude right here bagged all my boys. Bagged all my boys, man. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, 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 we gotta hit the right button here. <laughs> oh, no, hit the right button, Pat. That's right, I don't have any. There we go. I don't have anybody to order around. Brutal. Man, I live streaming, that's the first time that's happened where they begged everybody. <laughs> Okay, we got submarines in the area, so submarines make a beeline. Today's going to be a submarine day, maybe. Let's get everybody. You stick back there. Eleven thirty-eight. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll get them. We'll get them. So eight hours. Let's do some math here. So two hundred thirty-eight nautical miles. At 12 nautical miles an hour, 20 hours, we got plenty of time. Lame. <laughs> Triple kill. <laughs> I know, man. It's brutal. All six torpedoes with an eight degree spread? Yeah, well, we'll see if we can get them. Let's check the weather. Weather down here is fine. Yeah, we're getting them back. These guys are going to have to do without air cover for a bit. That's okay, that's what they're doing anyway. 
What we got here? Hey, you guys gonna come down here and play with us? I'm by me. We don't have any ships here, do we? No. Let's go ahead and get out of here. They come down and decide to play with uh, uh, Lex and York. We'll teach him why that's a terrible idea. This guy up here, ignore that. We know you're there. Let's go ahead and uh, beeline for these guys. Then we'll get a submarine attack in today. Should be pretty soon. There we go. Alright, Haddock. Alright, let's do some submarine, boys. Up scope. They're over there. Let's go ahead and turn that way. Let's see if we can get a bead on these guys. Can't see them just quite yet. Oh, yep, I can. Alright, that's good attack position. Who we got out here? You and all kinds of friends. Yeah. No, I totally agree with you, Adam. So, but, hey man, we take our licks as we get them. So, that's one thing I don't do on this series, is I do not edit. <laughs> so if I take a hit, y'all yeah, see it. And that was a brutal hit. So the thing that sucks about that, it'll take like three days for me to get just those bow fighters back. The convoy will be there before then. We'll be able to upgrade the airbase, and it'll be interesting to see if we actually get all those guys back uh, that quickly. So, Midways and Forestals? Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to have jets, too. <laughs> so, we can do some final countdown here, baby. <laughs> so... Uh, but uh, ah, we'll make do, you know. Oh, I do have a Kitty Hawk here, don't I? Oh no, I don't. Yeah. Um, I'm tempted to leave those guys as recon for the moment. Um, especially like Adam pointed out, this guy right here is particularly dangerous with the twin mounts up front and. I don't think this guy's actually armed. He is not. So. Alright, let's pick out our targets here. Um. So if we shoot at this guy. Let's shoot at two. Let's shoot at this guy and this guy. There's one destroyer in the way. I think we'll be able to shoot the gap. So. Let's nav right for him here. Let's go ahead and uh, speed up. Um, what's our C state? Uh, hang on, C state is five. We should we should be able to get away. So we'll see. Yeah, F 18s would definitely be new murder hornets. That's definitely true. <laughs> They're kind of in the lineage, man. <laughs> so, but unfortunately, like with the new mod. Um, which is good, because, you know, any way that the mod can actually nerf the player in this uh, in this particular one is probably a good thing. Just because, like, how many different ways, th the number of iterations of things that I can do as opposed to what the AI can do is, like, a million to one. And so that's why I'm thinking going after Guam will really throw a monkey wrench into their plans um, in some respects. Um... We might not be able to make this gap here. Let's see. Hang on. 2,000 yards, two squares, one, two. No, we'll be okay. We can play it cool right here. P61 Black Widows are amazing aircraft. So we actually have one here at uh, my local aircraft museum. Actually, I think it's a P61. No, it might be the other one. The Korean War one. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look at their website. <laughs> so, but yeah. I do not find it ironic.
to see Japanese um, hospital ships in their formations. First of all, the Japanese only had like three of them. And then second of all, um, in this game, there's no designation amongst like the AI as to what's a hospital ship and what's not. And so it treats the hospital ships as transports, which are humongous and carry a lot of patients <laughs> that miraculously show up on Guadalcanal and murder you. So, which I found out in the last series. When, uh, well, was it the last series? They dropped like 3,500 dudes on me. It was like gross. Um, actually, that might have been one of the games that I was playing offline. I, I can't remember. Or no, actually, one of you told me about that. That's true. So, one of y'all told me about that. So, I think we're going to go after this lead guy right here. Let's go ahead and target him. Get our spread set up. A pretty widespread. Um, we got eight torpedoes up front. Let's do about a four degree spread, I think. Since we got time, we might as well ID these guys. They're going to do it for us. So, 7,800 yards. So, so, this little thing right here, this is the bubble that we want to watch. The little red dot. Um, yeah, I think I can gap shoot this too. I think I can totally get this guy on top of him. Actually, you know what? I bet you I can gap shoot this dude. What do you think? I'll shoot at this guy first and this guy next. Go ahead and target him. We can help the boys out here a little bit. It's not a war crime if you win. That's correct. <laughs> Just like Churchill, I plan on writing the history <laughs> afterwards. So. Multiplayer would be interesting, I just don't know how you would do it. So, it's just not kind of set up for that. Uh, in terms of the base game, this is actually a pretty good shot right here. So, um, we still got quite a bit of time. I don't think he's moving though, we just gotta watch this. Just gonna watch his heading. <clears throat> yeah, his heading's not changing. He looks like he's slipping here. Yeah, I agree. Passenger liner. So, I think we can shoot the gap. I think you guys are right. So, we'll try it. Um, I'm still going max speed. So, 30 feet. So... Let's go ahead and speed this up here just a little bit, get us a little bit closer. Let's watch our solution here. He's still a little bit too far, and this angle is way too wide. So we want to get that angle down to about 20 degrees. Um, with his speed, 11, yeah. It's going to take a little time. Actually, these guys are going to overrun us, so we can actually slow down here quite a bit. Let's make like a hole in the water. Hole in the water. At least that's my thinking. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. <laughs> we got a couple of minutes here, so let's go ahead and speed it up. So, this guy here, though, he's going to come real close to us. So, yeah, I'm almost tempted to do this 45 like that. By pressing P? Oh. I don't know what you mean by that. See, this guy's definitely sonar equipped, though, so we want to be cool here. So I'll take a shot at this guy. Immediately line up a shot on this guy. 
Let's try it this way. Favorite U.S. battleship? Hmm. I don't know, man. I've always been, like, partial to the Missouri, but that's such a... such a foamer answer. <laughs> so... It's the first battleship that I ever made a model of. So, in fact, it's sitting on a shelf right up there. <laughs> so, that would be mine, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was always partial to West Virginia, too. I always thought she got kind of a bad rap. So, King George, v, King George V, yeah, absolutely. Texas is awesome. So, oh, hang on. I got my my little piece of the USS Texas here, man. So, only cost me a few bucks. Well, more than a few bucks, but she's in dock right now. So, you know, anything you can do to support, do it. So, all right, here we go. 96 is pretty good. I think it's about time to shoot. Um. Let's give it a minute. Getting a little greedy here. So, but that's straight line shot right there. You can look at my nav line. All right, let's go ahead and shoot. Now let's reconfigure for her. So, stop. Target this guy. Same thing. We've got four and four. So she's going to cross our line. These torpedoes are going to go pretty much down our track, maybe off just a little bit. Or maybe not. Pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm kind of banking on the fact that the destroyer is going to be on top of me. We're going to go down and right past her underneath the convoy. So, let's go ahead and shoot on this guy, too, here. And then we're going to do that. <laughs> we might just absolutely obliterate this ship. <laughs> Which is fine, too. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, off we go. Let's go this way. Down scope. Oh, no, we want to dive. I know, this this thing's dangerous because you think, ah, take her all the way down and then you die. <laughs> so, we're going to go right underneath them all here. Max speed. Yeah, we might obliterate this shit. I think she might be able to clear a couple. Let's see. Yeah. Oh shit, you might be right, man. You might be right. I might have, I might have not, oh, I, oh man, I might have jacked that one up. You're totally right, I might have jacked that up. So, that's okay. It's got a good enough spread. Down to 300 feet? Let's go down to 300 feet, Dan. Let's do it. <laughs> so, that's the theory. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's go watch the fun. Oh, yeah, actually, these two are going to pass. I think. These two are going to nail her. So, Mark 14 torpedoes. Torpedoes! 
There we go. That one was a thunk. That one was a hit. Two more going right on by. Going right for this dude right here. Let's see. Can't see him. They're over here. Check our report. Moderate. But a fire. We'll take the fire. I don't know. Might be a little optimistic here. It's a little far away. I know, they are Mark 14s. Absolutely creptacular torpedoes. So, she just got hit by another dud. That's the second batch. They're gonna go both wide. But, that destroyer's turning that way. I think we're gonna, we're gonna be able to cheese it out of here. Let's get out of it. Well, <laughs> famous last words. Let's just see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, too far. Too far. Oh, too far. Anybody behind you? No. That was a lot of torpedoes. For one hit. Got one more coming out over here. Gonna be able to miss. Alright. You think this one's toast? Ooh, it's looking pretty toasty. Pretty low in the water. Yeah, but you're totally right. I, uh... I didn't change the target. My bad. Regardless, we're going to get out of here. Go that way. Oops. I don't think this guy going down would actually be enough to... Yeah, unless we get a fire. If there's no fire, this one will be fine. They got the fire out. That's okay. We got another sub behind these guys, and we still have the Beauforts. So, um, which we should use to come in and grab this dude right here. So, who is <sighs> adroitly navigating away from our torpedoes? <laughs> So, whatever. We'll take the hit. Look at report. Moderate, moderate. Yeah. They're going to live. They're not going to find us either. So, off we go. Anyway. Back to the funsies. Uh, Herring, you're up. Yeah, let's save the Beauforts until they get a little bit closer. We will still be able to hit them with these guys. So, let's preserve our... That's 10 hours. Right there. They're right here at Haddock. 10 hours puts them right there. Which puts them... Uh, that's 2300. And then another 10 hours puts them pretty close. When's dawn? 0500? It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any black cats. Otherwise, I would. Uh oh. <laughs> ruh, ruh Let's see if Task Force 25 can get away with it one more time. What do we got? Is it gotta be Emily's? Yep. Going after Papsco. Have that way. Well, actually, no. Spin. Spin, sister. Spin. Yep, they're coming right for me. Well, oh, shoot. Yeah, we gotta do the. Present your profile thing, man. 
That one's way out of line. You guys got bombs? Yeah, yeah they got bombs. <laughs> well, let's watch the bombs, shall we? Man, they were right on top of me there. Oh! Oh! Right on the prop. Yep. Speed 33. That's okay. We'll be able to fix this, but not these two. All right. Let's let them speed up here. Hmm. Brutal. Those were fast. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> it's a function of the weather too, because like our visibility here is crap. So. Yeah, 45%, so, yeah, they spawn in right on top of us. Let's see if we can get at least this engine shore up. Should get this up to about 40%. Let's see. Give it a sec. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 53%. That's much better. And off we go. Let's see what that comes up to. I think she get. We're, we're gonna have to release her when we get back up to midway. So, but her uh, her crew will definitely have a side. Well, that didn't change. Whatever. So, but anyway, her crew will definitely have stories to swap. Uh, fourteen oh one. Yeah, we want to kick these guys way out here because we're not gonna use them for anything else. As much as I'd like to actually like just turn them around and reload them. These guys, Task Force 22, are on their home. It's only 1,400, man. <laughs> so, it hasn't even been 10 hours since we started the live stream. God! So, let's go ahead and kill this guy off. We know about you. Herring's in the area. Uh, we want to be cool about this, though. Just in case they sneak by us at night. But again, we do have the, uh... Oh, there they are. Yeah, let's just leave that for now. What you make right for him, man? Task Force 25, another one? Another one. Gotta dodge one more time. <laughs> Brutal! Yeah, more Emily's. Two of them. Uh, who are they going after? Looks like they're going after the tanker. Of course. Go ahead and spin on around. Oh man, she's going so slow. So slow. Lost two boilers. Five knots. Brutal. Might be toast this time, I agree. Might be toast. Let's see. She can't even turn that fast. Her steering gear is okay, though. <laughs> lucky ship, man. <laughs> lucky, lucky ship. Lucky ship. So, oh my gosh, man. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> so, 1526, we'll see if they actually get one more strike in today. So, I doubt it, but you never know. All right, here we go. Herring. Let's try this again. Up scope. They're over there. <sighs> see what we got. Oh, man, they're way over there. We'll have a good shot on this guy, though. Let's just shoot all the torpedoes at this guy. So, this one right here. We know what you are, brother. You are not a submarine. You're a hospital ship. <laughs> so. <laughs> the SS Ohio US edition. I know, man. 
Yeah, Task Force 25 is crazy unreal with this luck. This is the guy that we hit before. So, she's still listing. Um, it'll be interesting to see if these guys bunch up against her on this one. Big spread, you think so? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, if we miss her, we'll hit something over here. That's that's definitely true. So, let's go ahead and set that up. So, let's see. All up uh, no, not all the degrees. All the torpedoes. 9600 yards. So let's go ahead and speed this up. <sighs> yeah. Um so sending those destroyers in on the previous series, um, that was a good suggestion by Vark, who did that. We are going way too fast here. So let's go ahead and just make like a hole in the water. Um, using those guys, uh, the APDs, I think you get like 12 of them in the beginning of the game. But yeah, it was just like strike after strike after strike after strike until I was actually able to lock down Guadalcanal. And then... There was no reason to use them after that, because you could just use the uh, um, the actual transports and then the air cover that I had from Guadalcanal and stuff like that. But yeah, getting convoys in right now, especially with the Japanese holding Guadalcanal and Santa Cruz, you're going to catch little strikes here and there. So, no larger spread. What do you think? What do you think I should do on the spread here, man? I'm thinking about four. <clears throat> Um, we're going to be in absolutely amazing attack position. It's only 2,000 yards from here to there, and I'm, I'm making like a hole in the water here, buddy. So, look at the revolutions on my screws, man. They are, they are walking right into my trap. So, spin and fire forth the damaged one? Yeah, that's true. I could use the bow torpedo, or I mean the aft torpedoes, too. Aft torpedo tubes... After a period of room, never really gets any love in this game unless you're in really bad position. So, three or four. I'm inclined to go narrower rather than larger. So, they're still way off, 47 degrees off. Four torps. Yeah, <laughs> war crimes, baby. <laughs> so why four torps? Why not all six? I mean, I can't reload them fast enough. So I don't think I'd be able to get a solution off with the other two. So with uh, Mark 14 torpedoes, six really means three hits. So it's probably going to take at least two to put this guy down. The uh, IJN Titanic here. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's a good point. Aft torpedoes, because then you can just jet out of there. Is this guy changing course here? No, he's just pitching. It's the uh, rolling. What's the... Uh, oh, oh, what's my sea state? Sea state is five. Heading's not changing. You know what I gotta do is I gotta make real cool here, wait for this destroyer to get lined up with me, and then shoot the gap. This gap right here. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up. We might get spotted. Hang on. Don't scope. <laughs> Be prudent. Nautilus was a very unique submarine. So, uh, what is it? I think in Silent Hunter 4 you can play as the Nautilus and the Agronaut, if I'm not mistaken. So, or what's the, there's a third one that's really weird. No, actually, it's those two. So that's the one with the two guns, uh, big old six inches. 
on either side, if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong about that. Yeah, we're going to make like a hole in the water here. We're going to be within like... Yeah, let's just blast this dude. Perpendicular course. Oh, really? <laughs> Battle 360, good old history channel. <laughs> good old PS2 graphics. Awesome, man. <laughs> I remember it well. <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 throw all six at this guy, on a on a on a on a on a wider spread. Let's do about a six degree spread. Oh no, we only have two torpedoes left. Ooh, ooh. I'm glad I noticed that. <laughs> oh man. Turn tubes it is, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad I noticed that. Hard on over, Red Rover. We only have two bad torpedoes left. Am I reading that right? Yeah, I'm reading that right. So, uh, jeez. Yeah, with only four torps? Yeah, I agree. So, we're going to use stern torpedoes, <laughs> which we have four ready. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we only have two ready here. Four ready here. All right, so Herring's got to... Man, I forgot we've used these submarines quite a bit. So... I never saw the one on the Johnson and the Sammy B. So, um, you should read Horn Fisher's book on that. Tin Can Sailors? Fantastic book. Absolutely wonderful. In fact, I think it was, they just found the Johnston, or not, or maybe it was the Sammy B. Um, not too long ago. Um,. Ooh. But yeah, if you haven't read that book, definitely check it out. We're going to have to pop our scope here. We're losing targets. Yeah. Pop scope. Silent Hunter 4 is one of my favorite games. Um, unfortunately, I cannot get my old game to work for more than about 10 or 15 minutes. It sucks. So, yeah, you're right. It's the Sammy B then. They just found one not too long ago. Where is everybody? Now I'm getting nervous. Here we go. There she is. Cool about this. We got to get this up to about 15 degrees. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Had a lot of fun with that one, too. All right, let's shore up our rudder here. So, uh, there was a guy, Rockin' Robbins, who taught me everything that I needed to know about the Dick O'Kane method on his uh, YouTube channel. So, let's go ahead and do this one degree. Stern torpedoes, 18 degree offset, 95, fire. Off we go. Six degrees. Oh, I wanted to reduce that spread, but that's okay. So, eight degrees. Take the scope down. Dive the boat. Down to 200 and 300. So these guys should be coming out pretty much hot, straight, and normal.
pretty close. <laughs> Press F to lock on target? I did not know that. Thank you. So... We're gonna hit something, that's for sure. Man, I didn't realize uh, Herring was so low on Torpedus here. Hopefully we don't hit that destroyer. We're going to get something, though. Unless we're really unlucky. So. But yeah, I love Silent Hunter 4. So, you guys do not understand how many submarine games I've played over the years. So, Silent Hunter 4, Silent Hunter 3. Silent Service, Silent Service 2. Uh, Aces of the Pacific. Aces of the Deep. Sorry. Different games. And then, um... Uh, my favorite game ever, submarine game, was the original Silent Hunter, which I actually have been able to get to run on DOSBox. Um, unfortunately, when I updated my computer, DOSBox no longer works. So, But, let's see what happens to this guy here. <laughs> we might bag a destroyer. You never know. <laughs> so, one of my other favorite games was Wolfpack, which was like 1997. So, absolutely wonderful U-boat game. I don't play U-boat games anymore. I'm no, I'm no good at them. They get too hard after time. I, I think this guy might actually catch a torp here. Might catch this one right here. Let's go... We'll take a look. This is not what I wanted to have happen. He will not catch these three, though. He's going to catch this one, though. Let's see if we get a thunk or a boom. We got a thunk. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> Nothing to see here, man. <laughs> Alright, this is what I want to see. This looks good. This looks promising. Now they're not going to go under. I can't set torp depth here. So, unfortunately. Otherwise I would. I would set them all to pass right underneath that tin can. And go right after this guy here. He's probably got a much, much deeper draft. So... They are remaking the B-17 and the Mighty 8th. I cannot wait to play it. Come on! Yeah! Give me one more! Go home, man! <laughs> you don't belong here! Hmm, got lucky on that. If I had a tighter if I had a tighter spread on that one, that would have been fantastic. So got one more heading way out here towards this guy. I yeah, he's probably gonna turn. Yeah, he's going to be able to turn out of the way. I'll take those two fires on that dude, though. Yeah, that spread was a bit too much. It's got a little bit, like, twitchy on the TDC there, man. So, but I will freaking take this. So, you dead in the water? Dead in the water, baby. <laughs> that makes you bow fighter bait. <laughs> or bow fort bait. So uh, we'll put some mark. Uh, what is it? What, what are the what are the what are the cool British torpedoes? Mark fives, Mark fifteens. Yeah, we're working on war crimes here, man. Let's see how their damage control does. Oh, speaking of which, herring. Ah, <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> Let's see if anybody bonks into each other here. Let's check out our Japanese ship handling on this convoy. You got a nice sharp bow. Maybe you go like uh, introduce yourself to this guy over here. That'd be great. <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Fire and forget. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> this convoy might just have to go home, you never know. <laughs> it's not a war crime the first time you do it, that's correct. So. Oh, no, no, no. What's the old saying? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. <laughs> I think I got that backwards. Thanks, George W. Bush. <laughs> This guy's dead in the water, too. Check this out. Got him right in a prop. Yeah, you're right. That is way too funny, man. <laughs> Come on, burn, baby, burn. I don't know. We'll see. See, this is the stuff that, and to their great credit, a lot of the other folks on YouTube cut out, where you sit here and watch the fires burn and wait for something to sink. But, um, I don't believe in editing. <laughs> well, I do, but, uh, too lazy to do it. This is a pretty amazing fire right here. So, wait for the others to leave and bring in the deck gun? I'd love to, man, but I'd be very, very afraid that somebody would come back and pay me a little visit. This guy is burning pretty good. It's a uh, big old internal fires. Let's go ahead and speed this up here a little bit. See, now the thing is, I don't want to get too far out of the way. Because otherwise these guys will uh, despawn. And so let's, uh, let's stick around in the area. I'm getting pingy pingied. But by nobody around here. Watch that. See the entire convoy just seizing it out that way? <laughs> That's great. So. Yeah, that's this guy pinging around here. <laughs> Come on, burn, baby, burn! So, I got one fire out. Probably get this other fire out here. We'll see. Let's see. Regardless, they have no freaking clue where I am, and all the destroyers will go and police up. You know what? Actually, <laughs> you guys are right. We might actually just stick around for a little bit and go put some, uh... Actually, you know what we can do? We can put some bow torpedoes in these guys. Let's go do that. So... What are you? You're a little destroyer here. We don't want to get too close to you. Yeah, you're a little close. So, let's just, uh... Let's loiter. Here for a bit. Oh yeah, silent running. Great tip, thanks, man. <laughs> BF one one four Jack would give me crap about that if I didn't do that again. Hey, you're right. I can shoot from fourteen thousand yards or nine thousand yards and call it good. Let's just give it some time. She might burn down at the keel too. She's down by the uh, she's down by the bow, so. Or at least she looks like she is. Never mind, that's just my eyeballs. They're bad. <laughs> yeah, you're right though. Let's uh Let's loiter for a bit. You, go away. <laughs> go on. So she got the fire out. Question is, she, does she get her engines back up? I don't know. Let's go take a shot. I 
Now torpedoes. We got two torpedoes. Let's go polish her off before she gets her engines back up. This guy over here, also dead in the water. Yeah. We passed by them going southwest. Possible. Get back up to scope depth here. There we go. How far is this guy? 4,100 yards? <sighs> yeah, I know the tubes aren't being reloaded, but, um... So my bow two torpedoes are armed and loaded. I cannot use a deck gun right now. <laughs> I appreciate that, but no. <laughs> that would be a terrible idea. These guys here, they would gun me down. I'm tempted to just do a, a bleak shot here. Here with two more. Call it good. Out of the bow. 80 degrees. One degree spread. <sighs> yeah. You're right. These guys pinging? They're not pinging. No pingy pingy. They don't know where I am. I get that. Silent does stop the reloading, but my bow tubes are already loaded. <sighs> I don't care that now they're pinging. Let's shoot and go. Off they go, buddy. <laughs> Jeez it, man! <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, we might get got, but you never know. Let's see if we got a lair. Got no lair. Come on, boys. Let's see if our luck holds up today. So, USS Herring. That's all for your bow tubes. You got no torpedoes left up here. You got six in the stern. Are they ready? If they chase us, I think, uh... Shoot, maybe we'll take a pot shot at one of them. I don't know. It's <laughs> a pretty intense submarine going on here today, boys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I don't know though. I think I think we're gonna be able to get out of here. So famous last words. Yeah, they're way over there. Torps going that way. Mm. Yeah. Let's 
he started moving. It's not moving. Should be okay. Maybe. Go ahead and speed up here. Still not moving. Pretty far out of range, but hot straight normal. Should get it done. Let's see. Let's say run out of gas before they get there. I don't even see him up here. Math <laughs> and done. War crime accomplished. <laughs> and for some reason, listen the other way. <laughs> yep. Bust out the paddles, boys. This ship is done. <laughs> we'll take it. So. <laughs> All right. We'll give her. Uh, her do here. Let you all watch the uh, the destruction. So since we're uh, almost uh, buck forty eight, so and my bear's getting a little bit low, so maybe y'all's are too. So, but um, we'll take that. That's gonna rip the guts out of this uh, this uh, convoy here, thanks to the USS Herring. Um, we still have bow fighters, and then we still have Lex and York heading this way. Unfortunately, um, well, I guess fortunately, it had only been like three days since we've seen a previous convoy like this. So the Japanese are still trying to go after either Moresby or Milne. I have a very sneaky suspicion that and maybe some of you who know a little bit more about the AI than I do, but I have a very sneaky suspicion that all these guys are heading towards Moresby rather than Milne. That they would probably hit Milne with a, uh, um, a bombard group before they actually tried a big convoy like this, and so we might actually get quite a few more bites at this apple right here, but regardless of that, um, this guy is donezo, and so what is this? This is our second or third war crime <laughs> of this series, and we're not even to episode 10 number yet, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, there goes 1,700 quote-unquote marine or patients. <laughs> yeah. No longer our problem. Off they go. So, well, got a bunch of guys over here who uh, might have picked you up, but looks like Everybody decided to cheese it except for the one guy that's actually wounded. Um, oh no, they're all over there. <laughs> so I'd be tempted to pop on the surface here and put some five-inch shells in her, uh, but that's just that, that that would just be absolutely um, grotesque. And so y'all get your Titanic moment here at the end. So the band is playing, um, not the you know, really cool like. We're on the sea music, but, you know, the, the gentleman, it's been an honor playing with you music. <laughs> Jack and Rose are up here talking about, you know, honeymoon plans. <laughs> but not anymore, because uh, you're about to become shark bait very, very quickly. <laughs> Britannic does say hello. Um, and, again, we add another... Uh, "Quote unquote civilian ship to the IJN Naval Preserve down here off the coast of New Guinea." <laughs> so, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely a tactical success, not a war crime. So, I mean, they were supposed to tell me it was here before I actually saw it, and unfortunately, well, regardless of how you see it, this guy done so. So, off we go. 
Salu. 16,000 tons. On the bottom, two command points gained. Unzo. Unfortunately, what that means is that Herring only has six torpedoes left, and they are all half torpedoes, so she needs to go home. Which, unfortunately, is way to TF up here. How you doing on torpedoes? 18 torpedoes, that's good. Um, drum. 24 torpedoes, that's good too. Alright, so, uh, you <laughs> get to come down here now. So, because you have all your torpedoes, and you here get to play defense. Defense. Go. Alright. Cool beans. Is what it is. 52 command points, day 29. Let's go ahead and run this till at least dusk, or at least dawn next morning then we'll go ahead and pull the pin here uh, appreciate all you guys sticking around with me uh, here tonight for our 1000 subscriber special oh look at that you get to see some Emily's bomb my guys again <laughs> why would that happen <laughs> of course it would happen where are they how many we got we got three oh uh, let's see Let's uh, line up with them. We don't have time to turn into them. Go well, this way. You stick tight. Drop some flock. Here they come. So yeah, they're coming in way close. Way too early. So, but me putting these convoys down here, I mean, how could I not expect this? So let's see if we're lined up pretty good. Your steering gear seems to be working, but let's just see if Papsco can make it through the night. If she makes it through tonight. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, man. Everybody in the Navy owes these guys a drink. <laughs> so, you put down your Papsco coin, everybody buys you a drink in this game. <laughs> right now look at this oh my goodness so uh, the destroyer does have radar and it's on so um, unfortunately they do not have any proximity shells yet but that's okay all in due time all right get out of here all right let's get these guys home so and one more okay fair enough Destroyer's got a radar on. What do we got? Oh. These are different. Don't run you. You guys going after. They're going after this guy. C3. Here we go. You're right. I will make a course change at night. As soon as nighttime falls. Alright. So they had little bombs. And she's empty. So she would have been alright. Let's see if we bag one of these guys. Nope. No wins for the Navy Gunners today. That's okay. Off we go. Jeez. 1734, air ops start, stop at 1900, so let's just keep on course right now. These guys will actually be able to sneak in there. Um, we got to watch for that group in the morning. So let's get the carriers in position. They show up around here in the morning. Whatever's left of that convoy, we're going to sink it. So that's the plan at least. These guys, Task Force 25, just beeline for it, man. Tarawa is going to be in range, but that's true regardless of which direction we go. So, unless we kick way out here, let's just get them home. So, they'll be much, much, more, much, much harder to spot, not much open sea. So, off we go. <clears throat> 
All right, 0500. Cool beans. Here we go. All right, folks. Um, so we're almost at the two-hour mark. And so uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, this has been a long haul, you know, as far as this channel goes. And it's totally a hobby channel for me, but I really appreciate all of you who've been watching over, like, the last, like... Several of you have been here for many, many years, back to my original Carriers of War day. Many, many of you have been here since my um, run through of War on the Sea with the uh, Japanese. And then a lot of you picked it up during my uh, USN campaign, which I started last spring and ran all the way through the summer. And normally this time of year is when I kind of take a sabbatical, but I've really enjoyed um, the new mods uh, in particular. And so... I'm going to try and keep this up uh, week in, week out. So, but big shout out to a ton of you. So out there. So Pete Z, Peter. So always great to see both you guys in the comment. Adam, it's great to see you here tonight, man. I love you, buddy. So thanks for all your comments and, uh, you know, thanks for all your feedback. I really do appreciate it. So um, it's always nice to see someone who's not only done the reading, but also like really jumps into the war in some respects and really, you know, kind of appreciates the nuance and how much like, not just the guys who have built this game, the mods and whatnot, but Killerfish in general, who gave us an absolutely fantastic Pacific War game here, which had been missing for a long, long, long time. So there's so many of you. All my Australian friends, uh, I noticed I was drinking uh, the native beer tonight <laughs> rather than the Fosters. And so, but I, I appreciate all of you as well. And so um, there's a few of you that stick out in my mind, particularly since I read a lot about the uh, Royal Australian Navy over the course of the summer, um, even during my little uh, trip to sea, finished up that HMAS Australia book. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, and then there's just there's there's been so many of you over the years um, who like it's just it's kind of nice to catch up with you guys. Whenever like I post up a video, then I see all your great comments the next couple days. I really do appreciate that. Um, some of you really stand out, like Vark. I, I didn't see you here tonight, and that's totally fine, man. So maybe we'll do some uh, live streaming in the future. But I really appreciate your feedback, <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> so it's it's CIC actual, not Air Boston. <laughs> so I'm totally right about that. But you know, there's so many of you out there who've been around here since the beginning, especially like Andre, Mr. Ford. If you're still out there, man, I, I you know um, you were one of my first and. It's one of those things that, like, I, I hope you've enjoyed all the series, even though I haven't got back to Carriers of War. Um, you know, same thing, Brian. You know, I know you guys are out there, and so I really have a lot of appreciation for all of you. And for those of you who are new to the channel, so just understand that this is a hobby channel, and we might have hit 1,000 subscribers today, but there won't be any ads here, man. So go out there, um, support your local naval museums, uh, particularly this guy right here. USS Texas is in dock right now. Could definitely use your help. Uh, New Jersey, Black Dragon's out there. It needs your help as well. So, you know, if you want to buy me a coffee or something like that, definitely kick a couple bucks their way instead. So I really appreciate that. Uh, same thing with your local aviation museums. So I've got a fantastic one where I live here. So they're putting on an amazing air show this weekend, and it's just been... You know, fun watching old warbirds fly over my town <laughs> over the entire weekend. So, but if you don't have that, uh, you have War on the Sea right here. And so, um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here for a long time, I really do appreciate you. And hope you enjoyed a little bit of live stream action tonight. If the quality on this one kind of sucks, I recorded it. So I'll upload one uh, here probably tomorrow. It'll take a day and a half to render. <laughs> So, but really when it comes down to it, I really do appreciate having you all here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the pin here, but I'm going to stick around for a few minutes just in case you have any questions, comments, concerns. You want to pop in the chat. You want to sit here and just BS with me. That's totally fine. Um, I've got about that much beer left. And so I'll stick around here with you. And I really do appreciate all you guys being down here. But uh, for the recorded version, that's all I got for you tonight. Take care. And we'll see you all again here real soon. All right. So everybody else who's still here in the chat. If you've got any 